Um, say something about the song. Okay, so this song is called Letters. I made it with an awesome friend of mine named Alvin Lee Ryan, who's a producer in London. He came to Chicago during Pitchfork, and we made this song um, last, oh, actually like maybe two summers ago. Um, and uh, it's about how when I was younger, I used to write my prayers on paper, and I would write them, like fold them in little planes and shoot them out the window. And uh, <laughs> I was like, here you go, God. Like, you know, you know <laughs> Yes, it is. Exactly. And so it's like a coming of age story and uh, and growing in my faith to recognize, you know, that God is not just a, like or not like this external like parent, you know, but uh, within and through me. And um, yeah, and so it's it's the growth it's a growth in faith story. It's called letters. All right. The topic for today was uh, gonna be pain. Um, and it's still going to be the topic. It still is the topic. The topic is pain. Um, uh, I chose pain because uh, it was a topic that came up a lot this week. And that's what, how I choose my topics. So, um, and we talked about being, uh, having the addiction to pain and different kinds of pain and the reasons why we might hold on to them and why why should we let go <laughs> which obviously you've been doing a lot of self work on yourself self care work on yourself so mm -hmm. and um and so have I and it doesn't change the fact that we still carry pain or have pain and sometimes we sometimes it comes back you know or sometimes something new pops up but um the more you work with it and work uh, uh work on yourself the easier it gets to navigate through life. This is obviously not a thunderstorm proof studio. <laughs> Those are my sound effects. Pain, that's what it feels like. <laughs> right. Those are the sound effects. Um, yeah. And, um, and so maybe a little bit later, I know she's working on, you're working on some new projects with, as far as your music is concerned, right? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm like almost done with an EP right now um, that'll be dropping um, I think by June if not a little sooner um, and I'm really excited about it it's like four dope songs it's about um, the concept of a twin flame which I'm sure you probably know Ooh. about um, and uh, you know the kind of the turbulence and but also like the the highs and being in love with someone who is really that reflection of your highest version and you know um how do you respond to that do you repel that do you you know grow with that you know that person and um yeah so i'm really excited i'm yeah. really excited about it i'm excited too thank you yeah twin flames i you know i actually for as long as I've been doing like energy work and all this stuff, I actually just learned about Twin Flames a few years ago. It's yeah. just so, like a handful of years ago, my when my best friend uh, lives in Texas and she was talking about her Twin Flame and I was like, him? <laughs> 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 I know, right? That's terrible. I know, I know, that's terrible. But yeah, that's the truth, you know, and... Um, I yeah I just learned not that long ago about about Twin Flame and if you guys don't know look it up and it's you, it's pretty much where you find another soul like a, a, a higher soulmate like a soulmate that just is is a reflection of of who you are right mm -hmm. um, is that do you have a better definition No I think that's really it I mean like the the highest reflection of who you are but it's like you have to really decide like if you're going to like there has to be a rise in consciousness from one or both of you all to yeah. really make it work you know and it could be this whole off and on thing and with this guy who I really love and care about to this day it was like a whole six year on and off thing um, but yeah you taught me a lot about what unconditional love means um, and he still teaches me that even when we're not in a relationship together and what commitment means and um, and just what a spiritually censored, you know, true, um, unconditional love is. Yeah. And I, I'm just really grateful to have experienced that with him. And from that, like, I've 
you know, in the last like year, I've been doing a lot of um, just learn, like working on my own self, spiritually healing my own self. Like, I mean, the whole situation, I mean, everything from, you know, sound bowls and acupuncture and changing my diet up and everything. So just like re, like getting reconnected with joy and happiness in my life. And um, for so long of that time, I kind of depended on that person to be that that for me you mm -hmm. know and so it's kind of like he's he nurtured me to the point where i'm like and god nurtured me to the point where i'm like okay i'm at a new level of self-love and appreciation that's you know? beautiful thank you well congratulations thank you congratulations <laughs> thanks <laughs> When you're walking back the groceries oh, In a studio that couldn't be on It's been a whole day talking all night long And tears of pain when you get home I tell you what it is And what it isn't This is some real love Not just a feeling We put it real We put some real people well when you find somebody like that and even um, even people that aren't maybe necessarily your twin flame but there's beauty in everybody and there's always a teacher in everyone and and each of us you know and mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful when you can always reconnect with that person it's beautiful when someone can show you unconditional love because that's a man that is 
is um, it's not easy to learn that, especially if you're stuck in your ego or, mm -hmm. you know, but once you start realizing it, and I, I feel like it's always a learning, a work in progress. It's always a learning uh, experience to be able to have unconditional love. And I have a friend, her, her name is Michelle, mm -hmm. and she was the first person to teach me about unconditional love. Mm -hmm. I was like, God. How? How did she show you? By, by, by being unconditionally loving to her. <laughs> she just welcomed everyone and everything and, and and later and this was like uh, how many years ago about 20 some 25 20 years ago something like that and even even um later in life i think sometimes we're teachers at some point and and we forget and then someone reminds us that you taught me this mm -hmm. and it's like oh damn I did because right now I need that reminder because mm -hmm. I need to remember because I forgot you know and I feel like we go through those cycles and and um she taught me unconditional love but I think that I when we reconnected at some point I think that she had to be reminded of that too you know and learn it again or remember mm -hmm. I mean physical pain I've learned is, is stuck energy mm -hmm. when it's physical when it's a physical pain mm -hmm. it's stuck energy but when it's um, when it's an emotional pain, or um, yeah, then uh, it's tough too. Yeah, you know, it's it's tough energy too. But uh, um, you know, it's sometimes a little bit hard to move and remove. And um, I I believe sometimes people are used to having pain, and I I know some people that are used to having pain, and uh, they. I don't know what they would do if they didn't have that pain, mm -hmm. you know, because you get used to having that pain there and, and it becomes a, an identity thing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, yeah. who would you be if you didn't have this pain there, this stuck energy? Mm -hmm. Who would you be? What, what about if you had freedom there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who could you be? What could you do? You mm -hmm. know? Um, and, it, it, you know, it, it, it used to make me sad. It doesn't make me sad anymore because that's that person's life and journey. Um, and you can only live by example. Right. You know, and show what you do with, when you're in pain. Mm -hmm. And how do you... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a very unscrewed yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so that the only you know the so that the only energy you have in your space is, is yours. Well, at least that's what you would like, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say taking time out to get to know yourself better spiritually um, and listening to your body physically. Um, from both the Chatham area of the South Side and also the South Shore area. Um, I'm really in love with um, holistic health and contemporary art and bringing mm. Yeah, and we all benefit. The whole world benefits. Mm -hmm. I know, and I can't wait. You're like, yeah. I, I, I really feel like um, people that have the power to have a microphone, a simple thing like a microphone, you know, because it reaches a, a whole other audience. Um, I think that they have a responsibility to um, to share, to have a, a certain awareness and then to share it. And I know when I, like I was saying earlier, when I started doing this, it was, it was for fun. And I was just like, okay, I'm just going to do it because they've been asking me to do it for like four years now. And, and I realized that one of my intentions has always been to want to reach a mass of people. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I definitely didn't think it was going to be this. But I now that I'm here, I'm like, oh. I've been singing most of my life. Like I started my first solo was, um, like, I believe I could fly in my <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> That's my a kindergarten beautiful kindergarten. song. Um, I mean, uh, so yeah, I've been singing forever. Um, I kind of started taking it a little more seriously since 2012. Um, I left school to, um, to start writing and creating music. And I feel like I've caught a real groove right now where I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm taking a true stance in my passion uh, of, about holistic health through the vehicle of contemporary art and performance, and uh, and bringing my and my musical uh, capabilities. <laughs> so, um, I you know I, I find that a lot of people are, st are in that mode right now. A lot of people are in that mode right now of uh, even though the planet's going through like this crazy shift. Um, it's not all bad. Like there's some beautiful things going on on the planet and a beautiful shift. And uh, I find a lot of people are finally like saying, you know, F this, I want to go, I need to go with, with my, what my passion is. Mm -hmm. And, and um, I'm paying attention more to their, their soul, their spirit, their health. Mm -hmm. um, I, I find that a lot of people are doing that. And yeah, I think that's beautiful. I think uh, it's it gives people faith and hope and um, and amusement, <laughs> entertainment. So um, that's great. And what's what are you what are your plans for the future? Like your near future. Um, so I've been doing these uh, tea parties called the Kiki, and so they're a cabaret um, multi multi-faceted uh, art showcase and, and uh, musical concert where I have these hand-blended herbal medicinal teas, um, dancers, and it's a full abstract storyline that teaches about, um, you know, the different organs of your body and it's musical and it's beautiful and uh, they're going to be held, uh, held in uh, black and brown minority-owned um, uh, independent businesses hotels and galleries all across the U.S. and then I'm taking them to London and Paris wow. in May, May 2nd, uh, May 22nd and May 28th. Wow! Um, so I'm really excited about that. I am not happy about not having heard about this before. Oh, it's okay. I mean, uh, so we're doing like a full-on blast um, in the next, like the next week or so um, uh, of all the different locations that it's going to be. It's going to be some in uh, New Orleans. I'm going to do another one in Soho House in uh, West Hollywood and a few different places, like I said, scattered around Paris and London. Um, so I'm really That I'm really is amazing. That. Oh, you. man. Maybe I'll be traveling somewhere where you have one of them going on. So you are going to keep people posted. How can people find out where these parties are and where you're performing? And On my website um, it's kiaralanier.com K-I-A-R-A-L-A-N-I-E-R.com Kiara Lanier! This is one of her songs and um, 
We had a great show. We talked a lot about. We played some great music, and we talked a lot about um, pain and and energy and healing. Um, hope you listened in. You know, this show showcases people, art, music, talent, health, and today we did a lot of um, beautiful talking about awareness and all that. So. Um, yeah, so thank you to the ladies that were here earlier. Um, thank you for letting me do the energy work on you. I appreciate you and because it's also a gift for myself. Um, I get a healing out of it too. So thank you, ladies. Um, and thank you to, uh, I'm going to send a shout out to the Clairvoyant Center of Chicago because that I've been working with them for many years and teaching and learning uh, there for many years. And so thank you to, uh, to all of them there at the center for helping me find my way to myself again um, throughout these last 20 years. And um, thank you to Kira Lanier for coming in and sharing her gifts and her, her, her awareness and her beauty and talent. www.urbanmatrixmag.com Boom. I'm going to get it right. So, anyway, there's going to be a, a blog section of Gypsy Love Radio there. And that section will showcase uh, the musicians that I have playing throughout the week. And it'll we'll have like a health and... and and um, health and wellness section on there. So this was like perfect intro because that's what that's gonna go into. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys all for listening. Uh, let's see, I, I can't forget, the show's almost over, but I can't forget to let you guys know that you can look on my Facebook page. Obviously you're already looking on Facebook, but the people want listening in, uh, Yvette Magallon, M-A-G-A-L-L-O-N, um, that's on Facebook and there is an event Magallon 2 T-O-O and that is me too T-O-O but I just had to create another one um, you can listen there I also have a Global Rhythms Facebook page that one showcases all the live music acts that I, ha I am helping promote throughout the week and there is now a Gypsy Love Radio Facebook page so all these Facebook pages and it's all this um social media stuff that I'm learning how to do also if you are interested hey Linda Jonathan hey what's up baby um, jo um, if you are interested in sending some music um, let me know now I'm gonna tell you right now I appreciate all music I do most music let me not lie that's a lie I appreciate most music I do appreciate all artists working on their craft so, in that sense, I appreciate the fact that the artist is working on their craft. But, but as far as the music, if you're going to send me some music that you want me to play, you can send it through Facebook messaging or you can email it to me at gypsyloveproductions at outlook.com. Um, please, uh, the station, I, I'm not going to play it. I'm sorry if it's um, not a conscious song, if it's not talking about something productive and have has a good foundation a positive message so if it's talking about you know ass on the floor and i'm drinking this and smoking that please don't bother sending it the vlog there you get the podcast there and Q4, thank you Q4 for allowing me to have this show on here. And so thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, laugh, live, and love life. And remember to uh, be kind to yourself, love yourself, forgive yourself, forgive others. And I think that's, I think that's a good, good uh, yeah. And your homework this week, I forgot what the homework was last week. I gave people homework, but this, oh, last week the homework was to forgive. This week, the homework is going to be to be neutral. Let's all be neutral to those energies that we resist so much. All right. Love you guys. Peace. Thank you. And thank you guys.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.